Today, I want to share with you seven free SEO Chrome extensions that will help you gain a lot of valuable insights that you can put to use. Now, I know that there are a lot of Chrome extensions that say that they are free and they offer you a very limited amount of information for asking you to upgrade to their premium package. So to be clear, the Chrome extensions that I'm going to be sharing here are either completely free or while they do have a freemium model, they offer a very good amount of insight in their completely free plan. Plan. Now, on a quick side note, if you would like to have access to step-by-step -step processes and workflows for maintaining and growing high-performing websites, including SEO, Google Business Profile, analytics, optimization, strategy, security, and a lot more, that's actually broken down in a checklist format, including screenshots, so you know exactly what to do without having to take whole courses on how to do it, then head over to www.portableentrepreneur.com forward slash SOPs. And you'll be notified just as soon as those are released. All right, let's look at the first free Chrome extension. Website Ranking and SEO Checker is this really neat Chrome extension that lets you see the keywords that any website is ranking for. So this is really neat, not only for your own websites, but to be able to see what your competitors are ranking for as well. So to be able to see the keywords, you simply go to the website that you wanna find the keywords for, you click on the Chrome extension. It's going to bring up this pop-up box here that is gonna show you which positions are actually ranking in for different keywords. And then as you scroll down here, it's gonna give you a list of all of these different keywords, a specific page that is ranking here and the position that they are in. So as you can see, lots of valuable insight here and it will just keep going with all of these keywords. And then it's really easy to just simply be able to export the report get all those keywords, find out all the rankings, and you can do that through PDF, or what I like to do is just a CSV file, uh, and that way you have a whole spreadsheet of all of this data, which is really helpful. The next Chrome extension is Keyword Surfer, and this is really great for when you're doing keyword research, and you not only want to gather some extra keyword ideas, but you also want to be able to see the search volume for those. And you can do all of this right from the Google search results page. So you simply want to enter Enter in your search and you're going to notice a couple of things. First in the search bar, you are going to see the search volume for that keyword that you just searched. And if you take a look at the sidebar here, there's going to be this pop up here that Keyword Surfer adds in. And this gives you a whole list of different keyword ideas along with the estimated search volume for the month. And you can simply scroll through these pages to get some additional keyword ideas, which you can then further research to see which are worth pursuing. And when you see the keywords that you would like, you simply click on the check mark here next to the keywords you think you wanna research a little bit more, and it will add it up here to your keyword collection, and you will then be able to download a CSV file so that you can further research those keywords. Now going back to Google for our original search for dog training for Rottweilers, we're doing some keyword research here. And if you scroll down past the sponsored results, you'll see that for many searches, there is a people also ask section. And that lists common questions that people are asking that are related to what you are searching for. So this is actually a really good source of potential keywords and questions that you can answer on your website if you are trying to cover them. Now, the problem with people always ask is that it's very manual being able to copy all of these questions, but also to actually even be able to see them. Because if you want to see more related questions here, you have to click on the results in order for the list to start to expand. So here's a cool trick. You can use the detailed SEO extension. And what you do is you simply do your search and then you click on the Chrome extension here. You go to advanced and enable PAA, people also ask, extracting. And then we'll go back to our search results page here. I'm going to refresh it. And as you can see here, we have this box pop up next to the people also ask section. So we will select our extraction level. This is how many levels deep do we want to go down? And we can simply click, well, we want to go, let's say three levels down. And as you can see, it's going to start to gather those questions. So it's automatically expanding that section for you and then pulling all of those questions. So as you can see, we're already over 50 different questions here. And 
now it has been completed and you can go up to your downloads and you will find the CSV file waiting there for you. So now you can go and do further research on those keywords, find out which ones are worth your time. The next Chrome extension is Open SEO Stats, which helps you when you're on a particular web page, just be able to see some quick information about this web page. So you simply click on the Chrome extension like you do with the others. It is going to give you a quick overview of when the last time that Google actually looked at this website. It's also gonna show you how many pages are actually indexed in the different search engines. And you can also click on the site info so you can see the tools that this website has actually been built with. You can see what is in their robots.txt file, if they have an XML sitemap, but also just really for web page specific information, you can go to page info where it's gonna give you all of the information that can be helpful, especially as you do on page optimization uh, for your particular page. So we have the URL, the title, the meta description, uh, all of the H1 and H2 headers, what's been bolded, the alt text that is used and so forth. So that can be really helpful for some quick web page stats. When it comes to backlinks, you can use the free backlink checker extension and you simply go again to the website that you are working with. You click on the extension and it is going to begin to run a link checker report for you. So it is not only going to show you the external links, it is also going to show you the internal links. So you can kind of see their internal linkings structure that they're using as well. So as you can see, the report is running, some telling you how many working links that they have, but it's also gonna let you know if there's ever any links that are not working as well, which can be really helpful to know not only for your own site, but as a way to be able to jump in and potentially get some backlinks by offering a better page if you see a broken backlink, if you have something even better here. So once this report is completed, as you can see here, there is an export button. So I find this easiest because it's gonna give you that whole list of all of the different links so you can see what their status is, what they actually are, and do a bit of analysis there yourself. You'll also notice though that once you do this, it is going to then highlight the different links that it has on the page. And so when you hover over those, it is also going to let you see what the source code is for that particular link. And as you go through the website everywhere there, you're going to be able to see the URL and the source code too. The next Chrome extension is Uber Suggest. And so this gives you some valuable insight right on the Google search results page. So this can be good if you are looking at a particular keyword and you wanna see what are you actually up against. So going back to our dog training for Rottweiler search here, we can now see the monthly search volume and cost per click if we were paying for this particular keyword. Now, if we get past these sponsored results, we can also see that for the different search results, we can now see what their domain authority is. We can see the estimated visits that they receive from the different keywords that this particular page ranks for. So if you click on the drop down arrow, it's going to tell you the different keywords. It's going to tell you the position they rank for about the estimated number of visits that they may receive for that. And it also is going to show you if they have any social shares right here and the number of backlinks that they receive. So when you're looking at what you're up against, this can be really helpful insight. Now, another thing that this is going to show you is on the right hand side, uh, you have as well people also search for. So typically if you go to the bottom of the search results page, it's gonna show you more keywords that are relevant to what you typed in and it's gonna show you what other people are searching for. So you can see if that is worth going for based on the search volume and the estimated search difficulty for ranking for that keyword as well. One other thing this Chrome extension can do is if you go back to a website that you want more insight on, you simply click on the extension and it's gonna give you a domain main overview with a lot of information right there, but you can also click on keywords by traffic. So this is going to show you the different keywords that this site ranks for as well, the estimated volume, where the position they actually rank for for this particular keyword, and about how many visits that they end up getting. And you can also see the estimated difficulty level as well. Last but not least, we are looking at the checkbot Chrome extension. And this is a really good extension for being able to see speed stats, including a breakdown of the request. So you can actually see what is 
slowing down your website or keeping it from performing as well as it could. So we go back and we visit the website that we are working on. We click on the extension. This is going to take us to a new tab here where it is automatically going to put in the website that we were on and we can click on the go button. So this is going to go through and run a quick test. And on the free version, it will look at up to 100 URLs for us, which is pretty decent for a free one. So this is going to give us an overall score here saying we're doing 87%. So it's actually doing pretty good. A lot of that has to do with SEO and we need a little bit more work done potentially to speed and security to boost that score up a little bit. Now to figure out what we actually need to work on, we look at the left hand side here and we can see information and we have our page titles, which has a check, we're doing good. Now it says use optimal length titles, which is only a 58%. So it's showing that we have 24 titles that are just right. And we have 17 that actually need some improvement because they are too long. So it's telling us what the length here is on this side. And so those are a little bit too long. So we just have to get a little bit more creative with the title and shorten those down just a bit. So we can skip past the check marks. We can see here that we have only a 39% score. So it's holding us back a bit when it comes to using only one H1 heading. So we have several pages that have two H1 headings, one that has the three, and we only should be using one H1 heading per page, and then we can use multiple H2 headings. So that is a very quick and easy fix, and that will boost the score. So we can go through all of these, see what we're doing well, and see what we're not doing so well, so we can improve our load speed and performance. So hopefully taking a look at all of these free SEO Chrome extensions has helped you put a few more SEO tools in your toolbox. I will leave links to all of these in the description so you can easily access those. Any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.